<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is Togo4808. Um, I'm showing you these for one reason. Because I built my own computer. It's got a Diablo Tech 400 watt ATX power supply. An MSI 785 GM E51 motherboard. A light on 24X internal CDD, CD DVD writer with light, er, um, light scribe, which is also called label tag by light on. I also got an AMD Phenom X2555 Black Edition Dual Core running at 3.2 GHz, 7 megs of total cache. Um, <clears throat> one thing I like about this, easy overclocking. Uh, I've got overclocking for front side boss, right here. Um, and the unlocked CPU core. That is one, another reason I went with the Phenom X2555 Black Edition. Um, I've got it running... Hold on, I guess I could type this for a second. I've got it running 4 gigs of DDR3 Patriot, 1333 MHz, timing 99924, standard. Um, then it's got a Western Digital 500 gig hard drive running Windows 7 Home Premium. You can see right there. Here's the case. It's an NZXT Tempest Evo. You've got one fan here, another fan down here, two lights here, nothing on that side. Up on top, you get your power button, your reset button, USB port, microphone in, audio in, you, or, sorry, that's e SATA, USB, USB 2.0. They're both 2.0. Then on top, you got one fan here, then another fan. I'm gonna sit down for a second, so. Then another fan right there. And you can see inside. Got one lit fan there. You can see my motherboard. The lights are just switching between different power modes. You can see I've got a stock AMD CPU cooler. And there's a hard drive right there. Let me get a light so you guys can see this. You can see that. Hard drive right there, Western Digital 500 gigabyte caviar blue. Drive bays are up top there. Um, down here, just some cable management and then the power supply. Really like the case. You can see the stock CPU cooler back there. Windows 7 Home Premium. And I'm back here. Fan. VGA, DVI, PS2 mouse, HDMI, uh, four USB ports, Ethernet, eSATA, then you got um, 7.1 channel audio input. Also on the back here you got ports for water cooling. So yeah, this case can pretty much do everything. Um, on the box, it says it's won multiple awards. So yeah, it features um, dual 120mm intake fans and dual 140mm exhaust fans with an additional 120mm fan and side fan. And then, eight hard drive bays. That's insane. Look at that right here. There's that, right there. Overclocking and water cooling friendly. And then, um, I'm going to give you the price, uh, this, Diablo Tech Power Supply, 20 bucks. This, 20 bucks. This, let me look at the receipt. Eighty bucks. Then the AMD Phenom X2555, ninety-four dollars. The Patriot RAM was sixty dollars with a thirty or twenty dollar man rebate that I still have to do. Western Digital Caviar Blue, forty bucks, five hundred gig. Uh, the case was ninety five dollars, so that rounded out to about four hundred fifty dollars. And then I just ordered Windows Seven Home Premium from Tiger Direct and received it today. I ordered it back on the thirtieth. So yeah, awesome case. Phenom sticker there. Um, there's a way to get cheaper Windows 7 on uh, Tiger Direct. Uh, search Windows 7, bring you to their Windows 7 showcase, and if you just built your PC, there will be a section for that. 
Um, and you'll choose like uh, OEM Windows 7. I'll bring that page up for you. Stupid doc. Alright. Tiger, I'm typing with one hand and it's not typing. Aha, go figure. So do tiger direct dot com. Insert your tiger direct. And you'll search Windows 7. I'm going to bring it here. It says building a PC, save on Windows 7. <laughs> Click there, and then you got your home premium there. That's These are $99. These are the same. These are the same. These are the prices they say. The only one that's different is Windows 7 home premium. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can save there. It comes with OEN. So you've got to put the little uh, sticker on the side, the uh, product key sticker on the side. You can see that right there. So yeah, that is it. Uh, go. You can go ahead and leave your comments if you want. Yeah, yeah. Leave your comments, uh, your computer specs. And, oh, I know what I forgot to tell you guys. <clears throat> I have unlocked the hidden cores on this uh, Phenom X2 555. And there you go. AMD Phenom, now registers as a Phenom X4 B55 processor. See all the cores there. The only thing about unlocking the hidden cores is you cannot get accurate temperature data anymore. So, yeah. Uh, BIOS <clears throat> will give you accurate temperature data. So, that is it.